Trump just fired 800 government workers and put 200 more on notice after uncovering sick thing they all did. President Trump has demonstrated his deep appreciation and love for our military ever since taking office, a drastic change from the arrogant commander-in-chief our veterans became accustomed to underneath Obama. Now President Trump is doing something incredible for the men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice to defend our freedom, in an unprecedented move that just took place at the White House overnight that's putting a smile on the faces of our veterans while making Obama look like an even bigger jerk. We all witnessed the disgusting way Obama treated our military over the past eight years where he reduced Marines to his personal servants to shield him from the rain, oftentimes arrogantly refusing to even return a salute. Who can forget the images of Obama standing in front of the flag-draped coffins of our heroes back in 2012 as he lied his ass off about Benghazi, blaming the attack on a YouTube video. But perhaps Obama's biggest stab at our military was promising our heroes to fix the broken VA, but going on to completely ignore that campaign promise, as hundreds of thousands of veterans would go on to be forgotten, dying while waiting to be treated at VA hospitals across the nation. Thankfully, the days of our military heroes being forgotten and treated like crap are finally over. President Trump is not only fixing the VA that Obama failed to do, but is making Obama's corrupt VA officials pay the ultimate price for their negligence. In a clean sweep that happened in the overnight hours, it's being reported that 500 VA employees have just been terminated, and an additional 200 have been suspended for their shady conduct. The Gateway Pundit reported. The Department of Veterans made public a list of employee terminations, demotions, and suspensions. It has expressed that this list week be updated weekly in an effort to add more transparency to the department following Congress's push to increase the scope of power by the VA Secretary. President Trump expressed his frustration with the VA back on the campaign trail, stating that the VA was probably the most incompetently run agency in the United States. The bulk of firings were directed at lower-level VA workers, such as housekeepers and food service workers, after learning that initial oversight was not implemented. Many of these employees were discovered to be felons, sex offenders, or generally incompetent. This has led to poor care, and at times death from neglect, for our veterans. VAS Secretary David Shulkin said in a written statement that he is doing everything to hold VA employees accountable and will now make the actions of all employees transparent to taxpayers, as they have the right to know what is going on. The Starts and Stripes reports that a list was posted online over the weekend containing the date and type of disciplinary actions for the 800 employees that President Trump is cracking down on. They reported. Veterans and taxpayers have a right to know what we are doing to hold our employees accountable and make our personnel actions transparent, VA Secretary David Shulkin said in written statement. Posting this information online for all to see, and updating it weekly, will do just that. The list, posted online Friday, contained the occupation, VA region, the date and type of disciplinary action for approximately 800 VA employees disciplined since January 20. For privacy reasons, the VA is not posting employees' names. The initiative is part of the new VA Office of Accountability and Whistleblower Protection that Trump created in April with an executive order. Navy and Air Force veteran Peter O'Rourke is directing the office and advising Shulkin on the discipline of VA managers and employees. Shulkin gained more firing authority after Trump signed legislation June 23 establishing more repercussions and a faster firing process for VA employees. Trump, Shulkin, and many veterans and supporters of the legislation said the new rules would allow the VA to root out poor performing employees and the perceived culture of corruption in the department. Thank God that our military heroes finally have a commander-in-chief who genuinely cares about them and is doing everything in his power to ensure they receive care after coming home from war battered and broken. God bless our nation's heroes and God bless President Trump. Trump.